Hello, and welcome. This is going to be the start of a new Fallout 4 Let's Play. I know anybody who's seen my channel knows that I start a new game constantly. Hopefully this will be the last time for a while. This one is going to be slightly different in that um, I'm not going to be doing commentary for it. I've been working a lot of extra hours and I just don't have the energy to commentate while I play anymore, which is why I haven't uploaded in a long time. So to combat that, I'm just going to play the game and not worry about commentary. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to keep watching. I've already recorded the first episode. I haven't uploaded it yet though. Um, again, this is a modded playthrough. Can I see my load order? Yeah. Uh, official patch. HUD framework. FO4 hotkeys. Just naming the ones that are probably going to be interesting. I am using Sim Settlements, uh, one that lets you let your settlements essentially build themselves. You just have to place where you want certain buildings to be built and your settlers will do the building. It's fairly random and I think it'll be interesting since I won't have to spend you know hours building a settlement that you know probably looks like crap. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's see, darker nights, some light tweaks to make things a little more atmospheric, uh, sorting mod. That's for brighter lights in the vault tech workshop, in case I decide to actually build a vault. Let's see, this is the only real armor mod that I added. It's a fairly new one by uh, Eleonora. Um, not sure if I'll actually use any of them, but they looked cool, so I added the mod. Uh, I do have Armor Smith extended, so you can mix and match uh, armor pieces with outfits that normally don't allow them. Uh, let's see. A few power armor mods. Uh, this one, I think, lets you have, uh, or separates the... Uh, the bonuses from the uh, paint, so you can have a material and a paint job at the same time. Essentially the paint job just being um, an aesthetic thing. Um, which actually transitions nicely into another thing I wanted to mention in this video. The character that I'm going to be playing, um, I'm going to be doing a Brotherhood of Steel uh, run. So I will be joining the Brotherhood of Steel and the character is going to be themed essentially around a Brotherhood type character. I'm planning on using uh, heavy weapons once I can get them and use them reliably and, and having enough ammo and all that. Um, also uh, going to be using power armor as much as I can, which is different for me because I usually don't like power armor. It feels a little too clunky and slow, but I'm going to try and uh, do that anyway because I like the idea of the character. So, um, while I'm not big into in-character um, role-playing personally, I do enjoy watching such things. But myself, I don't usually bother role-playing the character that I'm playing. But this time, I think I'll try to, at least in general, keep my um, uh, character's responses. Along the lines of somebody who would be in the Brotherhood, he's going to be somewhat of an asshole. Because, let's face it, the Brotherhood are. Um, he's definitely going to have a bias against uh, ghouls and super mutants and synths. So, yeah. Since I'm not doing commentary, that might not come across um, as obviously. So... We'll see how it goes. Um, I think that's about it, really. I may do another um, 
commentary video at some point in the um, during the playthrough if I feel something needs to be explained or um, expanded upon that happened in the video in the uh, story or whatever. But until then, I should get back to playing. Thanks for watching.